When photographer Matt Black looks out at America, he often doesn't like what he sees. It bothers you. It bothers me, yes, because I feel like, you know, there's cliches about lifting yourself up by the bootstraps. Well, what happens when you don't have any bootstraps to begin with? Over the last four years, Black has driven nearly 90,000 miles through 46 states, photographing marginalized communities. He calls the project the geography of poverty. And what have you found? I found that there's big stretches of the country that are not, you know, part of these stories that we like to tell ourselves about what America is, you know, the land of opportunity and so on, the land of milk and honey are directly contradicted by the lived experiences of so many people across the country. In America, some 40 million people live in poverty. That means one person living on about $12,000 a year or a family of four living on less than $25,000. This is urban, this is industrial, this is all races all ethnicities, all cultures, all histories, all geographies throughout. Together, there's a common theme of <clears throat> we've been left out. So how do you capture all of that in a picture? Well, you know, I'm trying to focus very much on the lived experience of people, not poverty in an objectified sense. So it can be very small things. Images like a man searching for scrap metal in Flint, Michigan or people doing laundry in Clay County, Georgia. Looking at Black's images, you might be reminded of Great Depression era photographers like Walker Evans or Ben Sean, with a similar view of an America often overlooked. It's built in disdain, and it's built in don't go there, don't go to this side of town, or don't go to that part of the state. Uh, that's not part of America, right? What happens when it's not part of America? Well, then at one point, do we still have a common country?